A huge part of the CS Code community is always looking for tweaks or settings that could boost the FPS in game. So this is a new video series idea called FPS Inspect. The topic of today is checking out some launch options for Steam, seeing that a recent post on Reddit was on the subject. The idea is that adding some Steam launch options will help with the CS Go performance in some way. More specifically, a Steam minigames list feature. Hmm. Under Valve's developer community, there's a list of launch options, and the two that were often mentioned were Single Core and No Dwrites. Single Core forces Steam to run on your primary CPU only, and No Dwrite forces BGUI to use GDI text. And let's not forget the Steam minigames list feature, which supposedly helps CSGO as well. The feature is also known as the light version of Steam, according to the post, and uses 40 megabytes of RAM and instead of 400 to 500. Comparing both with and without this feature, I couldn't get close to 40 megabytes, but it still went down for most processes. To use the launch options, make a shortcut and put them inside the target box. Now in this episode of FPS Inspect, I was able to set up two other computers at home, my streaming PC and my wife's PC. She doesn't need it. These will help me see if the test results are different than on my own computer. I also have a new and reliable way of benchmarking, which involves multiple full runs of a casual game on Dust2, and I can also look at the 1% and 0.5% 0.1% lows through MSI Burner and Riva Tuner now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What does these values mean? And why are they next to average FPS? Let me explain. Even if you have high FPS, when it dips or stutters, it will still ruin the experience for you, and it won't feel smooth. That's why we look at 1% and 0.1% which are sample sizes of the slowest frames. It is used as a way to measure frame time, which is very important to include since you're not only interested in high performance, but also stable performance. So how did the three PCs react to the launch options and mini games list feature? On my main PC, the average FPS went down to about 2%, but my 1 and 0.1% lows also went down quite significantly. This means my game was running less smooth once I applied the launch options. From my streaming PC, there's almost no difference, but a slight decrease, and on my wife's PC, the average FPS went up, but the 1 and 0.1% lows went down, so really not an improvement here either. I won't be using the launch options for any of them in the future. It just doesn't seem to help at all. Also, you really should benchmark yourself if you want to try these out, since you could potentially get other results than the ones I got. What if we just use the mini games list feature? I tried it out, and the results show also no significant difference, this time on all PCs. I wasn't really expecting a performance boost, at least now there was no clear performance loss on my main rig. So I guess for me at least, using this feature is just a preference, but nothing that would otherwise affect the game. I kinda like this list, reminds me of the old Steam. Oh, and if you click on view library, you'll get taken to the original user interface. Before we end the video, there's one last launch option for Steam that I really wanted to try out. I've heard about this one many times as well, and it's no browser. You would think that it disables the browser features of Steam, but it seems to be more than that. It also disables the library user interface and restores the old friends list and chat user interface. Interesting. With all this happening to Steam, will this one affect CSGO? Keep in mind while doing these tests, I am not chatting with anyone, and that could be where the performance might increase. With the results now back, there is still no significant performance impact of any kind. No browser might affect the loading times of Steam itself and just the client, but for me, it hasn't done anything to the game. And that is what we're testing right now. Now this video took a lot of time to make, more than I expected, but it's been fun. 
to wrap things up, adding launch options to Steam does not seem to make any practical difference for CSGO, apart from giving Steam itself a nostalgic feel. Let me know what you think of this new series down below. Please like the video, stay awesome, and go bananas!